Yeah, we just spoke about how quiet Latrell's been. Uh, both sides being pretty quiet heading into the game, but I don't buy into any of it. Uh, Latrell, the, storm, the, the, the car before the storm. Latrell Mitchell up against Joey Manu. That incident just before the finals last year. Manu out. Latrell misses the whole final series. You can't tell me that this ain't going to fire up. Well, it's, it's crucial that Souths don't overcook it because Latrell and Cody are both very emotional players. We know that. We know that Latrell plays his best football when he's walking the line, but he can't cross it. We're on the eve of the finals again. He's got to go out there like the best move probably in the world was sending him home to the farm and let him chill out away from it because if he was there, this would have cooked up mm. more. Well, I'll say this, though. <clears throat> if, you, if you go par back to the past few games between these teams, it's the Roosters that, that have struggled to get themselves emotionally mm. right. We saw a couple of games there, they did overcook it. Then uh, earlier this year, they tried to really downplay it and they came in probably underdone and, and couldn't find the emotional level that the, that the Rabbitohs were at. So the Roosters are the ones that really got to try and get the timing right this week. Because they... You were like that, Kenny? Yeah, can we play that again? That. <laughs> replay, replay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he, that, and it, well, it is, but it's important it for both teams. Exactly. Look, you, they can be as quiet as they like. But history, history shows it, mm -hmm. it'll be fireworks. Yeah. Absolute that's what you like. fireworks. Look. And taking Luttrell away from it, it, it actually wasn't his call. It was the coach's call. Yeah. So it's smart coaching by Demetrio to take him out of the fire. I reckon, he, I reckon he'll be primed so for the minute. So they put the showman away for the week? Well, all I reckon... To, you know, you know, have have the, showman, the, sh the showman, he was... The Ferrari he was, was in the garage. The Ferrari <laughs> was in the garage a few weeks ago. Yeah, well, you watch the showman go for 80 minutes. That's when it'll count. Don't okay. worry well, about, that's when it counts. Don't worry about Mondays and Tuesdays. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. It will be interesting, though, because he was still suspended when they played last time, wasn't he, yeah. Luttrell? So the, the Mano hasn't seen him no. since last year. I can't year. wait. And, and the rest of the Roosters forward pack, like, mm. they, they, they always seek retribution. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and and, and, and well, but there's no doubt the world is going to blow up. Yeah. Oh, he'll well, be fine. He though. knows Imagine. he's only facing a fine, so it's all yeah. good. <laughs> oh. Both, oh. both coaches would be sitting there with fingers yeah. crossed just hoping they don't get any well, suspensions that's, that's out of it. Well, that's the It's an important game just because of the rivalry and the hatred there, but really... It's, it's, it's a, there's a lot bigger things ahead for both sides moving forward in the weeks to come. So well, they, they've got to they maintain to control. control. I think Kenny touched on a really good point, uh, and calls as well as far as uh, handling the emotion, Cody and Latrell. With the finals around the corner, one slip up, if those emotions do boil over from Cody and, and Latrell, to be fair, they hold South Sydney's hopes in their hands, those two players. Now, just quickly, Suwali is now Swali'i, so for pronunciation reasons, I just wanted to specify that. So he, apparently throughout the week, uh, Swali'i, he had a lot of talk about how he left the Rabbitohs and they wanted to maintain him, but the Roosters poached him. Richardson said today they couldn't afford to, to keep Swali'i. I, I, I don't get that. They, they've mismanaged their cap. There's no way in the world you let a guy like that go. They'd invest a lot into him too. They had invested a lot of money into him and then when it finally got to the point where they're about to, to get a dividend on it, yeah. they, they let him go. They let him get it poached by the roosters of all clubs. I was shocked by and this. They, they, it was one of the... It will go down as one of the, the great dumb moves in South Sydney history well, that they let this kid go. They, they kept players who Swali'i has passed now. Yeah. And so he was always destined. This guy is destined for greatness. Mm -hmm. And so if you can keep him at your club, you, you keep, like Richo came out in the paper and, and he said um, they had Latrell to play number one. Well, the Roosters have got Teddy. Yeah. You know, you, this is a guy that you would have but see, that's moved where the Roosters, heaven and earth to keep. The Roosters don't let it become a problem. OK, we've got Tedesco. You know what we're going to do? We'll find somewhere else, mate. And we'll put you in another position. We'll start you off on the wing. Mm. And at some point, he's going to come in and he'll find somewhere. And whatever happens with Tedesco, we don't know. But they've found a way to make it work. And for South City to sit there and offer this excuse that, well, we, we, we had the troll there at fullback, so we had no other way, nowhere else to play, mm. just doesn't cut Cap it. Cap issues, for sure. It uh, has to be cap issues. But, but it's also... mismanagement. But, but the other... Mm. It's mismanagement, Dave, because the other part to it is when, you, when you've got these players who have just got gold-plated futures ahead of them... Blue chip. You, you find a way yep. to keep them at your club because they would have got in for unders to, to stay. Whatever the Roosters pay, they, they would have been more, more, more than what South City were paying him. They could have got him unders to stay, but they let him go. Mm. And now to get a player of similar calibre back, they've got to pay well above what he'd be yep. getting now. Is it true that the rugby raids are coming after our rugby league players and Swali'i is one of them, Trebojevic is another. It was reported in the Daily Telegraph, I believe, today. Do, is there any truth to this? How, embar how embarrassing for Australian Rugby Union. <clears throat>
to, to these guys are sitting in their own nest as schoolboys. Mm. And then they have the opportunity to develop these players into rugby union players at that point in time. And rugby league are doing a better job as far as development they're, and pathways they're putting, are concerned. They're putting to the rugby so, school so systems, now, Dave, by now, league clubs. So now there's discussions of offering Swali'i $2 million a season after you've already had him in your back pocket as well, a schoolboy. They probably boy. could have kept him for a couple of hundred as a young fella, and now they've got to pay 10 it's million farcical. to get him back. It's, it's so pretty embarrassing. It's, it's why rugby's where it's at. It's embarrassing the fact that the Roosters, an NRL club, are doing a better job at identifying talent than an entire code. And yeah. it's embarrassing they need $10 million to try and get him, and I bet you he'd be second-guessing that $10 million because he'd want to stay in rugby league. Look so at, he, he, they, they, they probably need more than 10 to get him there. Have a look at this list here. Now, these are the rugby runaways. There's a lot of them. Toby Rudolph up there, Penasini, Simonson, Milne, Murray, Crichton, Swali'i, Ponga. Wow. Catewell, Carrigan, Savage, Walker, Gagai and Sewer. That's, guys, that's a pretty let's fair be list. Fair let's be fair dinkum about this. Though. <coughs> the league clubs, the NRL clubs, put these guys in the schools. They give them the education yep. knowing that they're going to get them on the return. That's how it works. Like mm. Cameron Murray... Is rugby league through and through yeah, that, sent to the school? That is rugby right. had an opportunity yeah. to see who he was, but he was always hooked up with Souths. But he's also right under rugby's noses. Well, of course and he's under rugby's yeah, noses, but, but he's already on a, um, a, a rabbit's contract. But the fault. fact that rugby's letting all these guys, all these guys, go through, and have got to wait till they come out and they've actually then established themselves as NRL players, and then have to come in and play massive overs to try and bring them back. Ridiculous. Why wouldn't you, it's the why dominant would, code. I know that, but it's why the better you code. It's a better level? game. Of course, they're going to play rugby okay. league. Okay, <laughs> and if they're sitting there on a well contract said. of thirty, forty thousand to play for the Rabbitohs while they're play, in year eleven, why wouldn't the rugby come in and say, "Mate, we're going to offer you 80, 90, whatever"? Well over what he's getting paid currently, you would swing some your way. There's a, it shows their the last their lack thing of that I want to do is tell the rugby ARU how to do their job, right? There's a well, they knew that. There's an <laughs> immense there's an immense talent called Siwa Wong. He's mm. 18 years of age, sitting in the Sydney Roosters system, mm. otherwise known as Joshua Wong. Mm. He will play NRL next year. He's 18 years of age. He's regarded as the next Swali'i, right? It's different position, centre back rower. Now, instead of offering Joseph. $2 million a season, mm. why wouldn't they mm. start there and have their own poster boy mm. that, that is 18 years of age? And as opposed to... And as an AOU player. Absolutely. As a wallaby. Yep. Embarrassing. All right, there was talk that uh, the Roosters wouldn't let the Bunnies on Allianz for, for uh, the captain's run. True. And now we're hearing the Bunnies aren't happy with the surface. Is this true? They want an, ins an inspection of the surface uh, done prior to kick-off. The South Sydney Rabbitohs looks like, th I think it's just... What if the service thing isn't good enough, they'll move <laughs> go to Redford? Like, what are they going to do? Uh, Look what's, at what's the solution? <laughs> it's, the, everyone, it's the most anticipated game of the year. All of a sudden, the surface ain't good enough. How good are the games? I, I just think it's Rabbitohs playing funny bogus. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke but, screen. Yeah, well... Take away well, from the real story. They're not happy. The they're not happy they wanted a one story. run. Yeah. They're not happy they're not, they didn't get a run. Why on, didn't on, they get a captain's run? Because the Roosters don't want them to. So that's Roo that's <laughs> Roosters, Roosters, obviously, when the, the, the time slot that they could get on... <laughs> it was midnight. <laughs> no, that's, this, is good. No, this is the best. The yeah. time slot that the Roosters could get on, they obviously use it. Yeah. And the other time slot, they put their women's team on. Oh. So the Rabbitohs didn't have a time slot it's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's about. It's honestly, fantastic. That's what it, put that in your book of feuds, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> you love the book of feuds, eh? Oh, book of foods. <laughs>